Thank you very much. Good morning. So, my name is Edward Smith from Imperial College London, also an SSI fellow. Um, today I want to talk to you about applying the scientific method to scientific computing. So, in my research, I basically work on developing scientific software for about the last eight years. One of the big questions that I keep coming back to is how can you be sure anything is correct? Within your code, how do you know you haven't made fundamental bugs? I'm talking about bugs both in terms of the underlying uh, functions themselves, but also on a larger scale, how are you sure the, func the actual code itself is correct? And this kind of obsessional question of, of whether anything is, is really true comes back to you know, the fundamental underpinnings of science, which are set out by uh, Karl Popper, that science should be falsifiable. So the idea here is that I present a theory that explains reality. I publish it for the scientific community, and they are able to then test that. The more they test it, the more reliable it becomes, the more we falsify that particular theory. And eventually, with enough falsifiable uh, examples, we accept that theory, but if we find one example, then it's wrong. So Newton's laws were found to be wrong, they get replaced by quantum mechanics, for example. So I would argue you can apply the same concept to scientific software. That is, basically software, the more we test it, the more we're sure about it. If you send me your code, I run it, it crashes, I'm not going to use that code again. If you send me your code and you provide lots and lots of tests, then I know it works in at least all of those cases. Maybe nothing else, but at least those cases. And this basically sets out a method where you create software that explains reality. We make it open source so people can, can test it with a range of different examples. And the more we test it, the more sure we are about it. And it's valid until, until a single bug is found. The one advantage of software is we can actually fix the bugs without having to wait for a generation of scientists to die. Thank you.